Hi and welcome to another junk journal with me episode in my new June journal. We're going to be making an accordion pocket page following a tutorial by the wonderful Amity Bloom. I love her style. I have been following her for forever, I think. <laughs> and um, I love everything she makes. And so I'm going to be making this in her style and I'm going to mess up a few times, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. So I have this beautiful vintage map that I just found at a flea market in Budapest and I will show you more of the things I found there a little later in the video. So I am cutting this up and I wanted to, <laughs> this is the first mistake I make. I, um, the, so you have two pages, one is the background and one is going to be the page that makes the pockets and please go go check out Amity's or Nazi's um, video from Amity Bloom uh, I will of course link it below so that you see exactly how to do it because I think with my chaotic way of doing it and messing up you're going to be very confused <laughs> so um, here um, this was the second try I um, finally managed to make the the upper page taller because you have to fold it up to make a pocket so okay so I did that and I'm using my ball folder to then just fold it in half just cutting off the excess here and then <laughs> you're supposed to sew along just the edge of the pocket um, but yeah you can fold for uh, <laughs> fold Oh my god first fold it into quarters so that will make your accordion and you will see but the way it folds um, it will form this accordion there you see and yeah that was my second mistake I <laughs> as you can see now it doesn't open anymore because I sewed all along the top so don't do that if you make mistakes making this make your own mistakes you don't have to repeat mine <laughs> So, third time I made this um, paper, so it's already folded the correct way and now I am trying to put it in my, I think, last signature. So, my idea was to put the back page of it in between and then um, to sew and glue the, the other one o uh, over the binding. So that's again the beauty of having a flexible binding. So what I did now is I sewed it on one side, on the right side. Now I'm putting it through and now I'm going to sew the left side closed as well. So here I did that. So this time it was correct. So you see it folds up nicely like an accordion. And now I'm also going to glue those two outer sections of the four. So I'm just taking my glue stick and gluing that down on both sides. Yeah, and now it's, it's correct. Of course, you don't see in the video all the parts I cut out. I think this took me about an hour to get to this point. <laughs> It looks so easy watching Nazi's video and then when I did it myself, I just kept messing up. <laughs> so now I'm cutting another piece of that um, map, of that vintage map because I want to have the same paper and I'm running this through my die cut with an embossing folder which I will also link below, it's from AliExpress. And I wanted to have this beautiful pattern you can't see it too well, but I guess you can see it a little bit. And now I'm just trimming it down a little bit. And I'm doing the exact same thing that Nasi did in her video. She had this embossed piece that she put there in the corner. And then I'm just also going to add some more fabric pieces. And I'm again going with the blue theme because that map has a little bit of this beautiful light blue in it. So I wanted to stick with that theme. So I'm just layering those on top of each other. And I also wanted to add some cute little white buttons. And since I've spent so much time on this page already, I 
didn't have the patience to sew the button on so I'm just going to glue it on with my white glue. And then I also wanted to add a little cluster on the top right hand side where you see there's a lot of empty white space so I'm looking for more fabric that will stay with the same theme and I'm going to use this piece of fabric uh, which was from a happy mail and I had been told after after um, I've used this once in my video that this is actually from some original feed sacks so that's really cool that I have a piece of that thank you again for sending this to me um, and now I'm also adding some lace on top of that I'm gonna glue that down with my glue stick and then the lace with my white glue. And I will also be adding two buttons on this side. Two things I did on this page after I finished the video because I noticed afterwards that it wasn't ideal uh, was so one thing. You see I have this, this, these pockets along the bottom, which I will put tags in in, in a little bit. But um, I decided to glue down uh, where, it, where it has the creases to separate those four pockets. Because I found the tags stay in better when they don't have too much room to wiggle around. So that was the one thing. And the other thing I did was um, in between the two pages where the binding is, I actually reinforced the crease with some fabric washi tape because it was starting to tear where the binding was so those are the only things I changed so now I'm taking some random blue cardstock making a tag shape out of it and again running it through the same embossing folder because I thought these tags are really cute and this is inspired by a tag I had received from the lovely Emma in my last pen pal letter from her so thank you Emma I would have used yours in here but the pink didn't go with this spread so I will I'm hoarding it for another spread because I love it so much now this is from a, another happy mail and I am going to um, use use the blue tag as a template to make this into a tag as well and in both of those I'm just punching a hole and I'm going to add this Tim Holtz thinlet die that I have and I'm going to show you the packaging in a moment I will try to see if I can find that on Amazon and link it down below as well they are awesome so I am going to just add that with my glue stick. That makes a really pretty simple tag. Now I'm just drying it with my heat gun because of course it's sticky all over. So that's that tag. Then I'm going to use two tags that I had received in some happy mail. So this first one is from the lovely Emma again. And this one I believe is from Desiree, so I think these are very cute for this spread. I'm happy to have those in there. And I'm not done with it yet, I'm just seeing how it would look. So I think it's such a cute idea to have such an accordion page. And of course if you, if you don't want to sew, again, you can always just glue it. You, th there's hardly ever any times when you have to sew. It's just a nice touch, but if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue the edges. So now I just thought that on the bottom there was just too much white, and so I added this music paper. And I'm also just looking for another little focal point that I could add there. So this is how I store my small ephemera bits and I choose this little bee from the Busy Bee Kit from the My Porch Prints Etsy store that I have used in my collaboration with Rachel from Roxy Creations. So I have a lot of bits left over from that um, kit because that kit had so many pieces in it. So 
I wanted to use that B and then I wanted to spice up that blue tag a little more so I found this um, little piece on top which was also from a Happy Mail I believe and I'm adding this tiny cute dragonfly which was also from a Happy Mail and I'm just going to add some twine to tie those together with a little bow and I actually didn't journal on any of these cards but I will still do that so I left it at that for this page and as I said all I did afterwards was just run some glue inside of the pockets on where the creases are and then I wanted to add this cute little postcard that I found in Budapest and it had this annoying price tag on the back which I didn't manage to get off so I wanted to add a stamp on it instead which of course would be much prettier, prettier. and these are, are again from a Happy Mail so I'm just going to stick that over and you'd never know it that there was a price underneath <laughs> So I'm actually going to journal about my Budapest trip on this uh, little postcard and I'm just going to find a page and I will choose this one and I'm just going to attach that with some fabric washi and I think I, be I believe I got this at Action and the reason why I, I like using fabric washi tapes for making little flip outs like this is because they tend to have much stronger glue than the regular washi so you don't have to add any additional glue so this is much easier so just gonna use that like that and do the same thing on the back side and then I have space to journal on the postcard itself and underneath it on that um, designer paper as well so I will be doing that off camera and here I wanted to show you some of the things I, res I bought at the flea market. So these are labels from old liquor bottles and I think they're so cool. I have to think about how to best use them but I really like them. Then I have this amazing postcard from 19, I think 69 it said from Florida. Really cool and these, these very cute cars look like 50s maybe late 50s and then this little folder from Kodak film from 1927 definitely be using that in this journal and then this I'm not sure what they are look like some maybe school certificates or something there's another old vintage map really loving the colors on these maps then there was this um, nature book which has all kinds of beautiful um, animal pictures animals and insects birds um, really cool book then I have this one which is a children's fairy tale book and I thought this one I would actually also use the cover but I also love these colored illustrations as future journal pages I especially love this one and this one they're so cute but the cover is great too and this one as well has beautiful animal in illustrations look at these they're so precious I love them so I'll definitely be using those as well in future journals or maybe maybe in this one I'll cut some out and use some of those also the cover actually might be a journal cover and then I have these doilies and this lace, which is also beautiful. And then I have these two embroidered pieces, which is typical Hungarian style embroidery. This is the second one. Really cute. And now I wanted to share some photos of the Airbnb we stayed in. The owner loves collecting uh, flea market vintage flea market finds as you can see and so all over the house he had some some pieces displayed look at this sewing machine oh my god I loved this place so much it had a beautiful garden as well and it was such a great find like 
15 minutes drive into the center of Budapest and um, beautiful quiet area really lovely place to be in the hosts were great as well yeah really enjoyed that so I'm going to so I printed out some of these images and I'm just going to stick those next to the page with the postcard and the journaling so I am just going to find a way to make those four work and I just wanted to add I have a, an important important announcement for those three lovely ladies that have signed up for my consulting Skype sessions so Jill, Kate and Arike, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Please, please, please send me your Skype name uh, to 49dragonflies at gmail.com so I can um, contact you via Skype on Sunday, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Anything.